Hey guys, are here, back for some more Toad Tuesday. So, I've been doing some practicing, and I'm ready to show you guys the extra stage. So let's just jump right into it. It's actually not that long, particularly when you know how to handle the bosses. And the actual stage sections in between them are not overly long either. Now we have some returning enemies, but we also have some new ones, like this nasty looking green guy. Looks like something that came out of a swamp or something. And when they die, they throw out these flailing plant things, which are kind of annoying. But I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and kill all of them because I want to farm up soul energy. I'm gonna want it for the bosses. Which is kind of annoying finding them on the side of the hill here, where I don't have the angle that I want. I'll go ahead and bring this bird over here and let this guy walk over to me. So I can hit from this side. There we go. And we're already at the first boss, See, so the actual stages themselves are pretty condensed. Now we already have both of our sub-weapons with Marissa and Cyrano, so since we already have Cyrano with us, instead of her being the boss... It's actually Rumia, which makes sense because if you know the main games, and you know the one that these characters come from, Toho 6, you might have noticed that Rumia was the only one that was missing um, from the actual game here even though she was one of the stage bosses in 6. And I'm just being overly cautious right now. So I'm trying to avoid taking needless damage. So I'm just going to kind of take my time. There we go. Alright, good start. No damage so far. And you see, it doesn't take us to a new stage, it just opens up the door in front of us. Now this next enemy, do not let it attack. Kill it as soon as it spawns in. I'll show it off here, though. These guys are kind of nasty because that thing is big and does a lot of damage. So, just kill it as soon as it spawns in. It only takes three hits, and if you're paying attention, when they jump up, you can attack them before they even get a chance to attack you. these annoying wizard guys. And also these floating heads which keep coming in everywhere. You'll see that I kind of tiptoe forward because I know roughly where these wizard guys will spawn in. So I can kill them without going too far and aggroing these guys. Because I don't want to deal with them at the same time. Especially on the bridge here. Because there are three of these guys. Alright, there we go. Now we have to fight Mei Ling again, and you'll actually notice that these fights, they're the same ones as in the main game at the end when Remy calls them all back in to fight, and they have upgraded attacks, but their health depleted very quickly. Here, they have the upgraded attacks, but their health bars are normal, so they don't just insta-die. So Mei Ling's not talking. She won't let us know what's going on. So we'll just have to beat it out of her instead. Alright. So far, so good. Now, these Minotaur guys, they're upgraded. They do the shockwave thing, which you could just float over, or you can actually use the back jump, which just looks way cooler. I like that I actually found a place that that move was actually useful. It's really good for these guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy repositioned a little. Just because I don't want him near this chandelier. There we go. 
Now this hallway is kind of nasty because this is the longest section. Um, and it's full of these skeleton guys, which are very aggro and do a lot of damage. And you have these other fairies in your way. So these are new. They take four hits to kill. They shoot the same beams that Rumia was using. Those fairies will fire off those orbs like the wizards, but then they fly off so they don't hang around. So that's fine by me. It's just the hard thing is trying to kill these skeleton guys while the fairies are bothering you. It's just one or the other. That's that's one thing, but I'm trying to make sure I focus and kill these guys because they do way more damage. You'll see I always kind of keep backing up to get myself the room I need. Dang it. It's okay, those guys only do a little bit of damage. It's these guys that I'm being much more cautious of. That was close. See, the hallway goes on for, compared to the rest of the game, the rest of this extra stage here, it goes on for a decent amount. Alright, finally. Alright, health is okay. She's not talking either. Oh, completely swung the wrong way there. You kind of like get her in this nice spot right there where her stuff will miss you. Alright, not the best, but you know what? It's okay, I'll take it. Now, luckily, we'll actually get our first food items, as well as some Yukuris, but be careful, they're not real, they're bombs. Except for that one. That's the only one that's real. And then one more fake one. Alright, full health, get a free extra life, and then straight to Patchy. So if you know the actual games, you know who they're talking about here. Ah, that was a bad float on my part. Eh, not the best, but... Alright. There's a little bit of more food that we'll still get here. Yeah, I'm kind of just being overly cautious. More health back. Oh, almost forgot that guy was there. Good thing I was floating. So I get one more food item up here. All right, get us just back to full. Let's 
guy is in a really weird place at the bottom of the stairs there. All right. So we're actually at the final boss now. Now, this one I'm going to really focus on because this one has a much bigger emphasis on Donmaku and bullets flying around. And if you don't know how to handle it, you just get wrecked. And you get you take so much damage from almost all the attacks. So I'm just going to really focus here. So this is Vermilia's sister, and she is just out of her mind, so she's very dangerous. Oh, don't die. Wow. Way too close for comfort. I was barely missing that dodge, and that's what I meant by it's like you don't have much room for error. And we actually did it all on one life, somehow. Yeah, somehow I don't think it'll be alright. I don't trust her. The whole thing with uh, Flandre is that she is locked up typically in the basement of the castle not to be let out because she's just way too dangerous and she's like relatively young so she's kind of childlike and so she's, she's childlike but she's also like one of the strongest characters in the series and she's just really dangerous so when she gets out it's like it's a really big deal so that's why she's the extra stage boss here, as well as in the actual main series game, uh, Toe 6, Embodiment of Scarlet Devil. 
um, which is actually, that one is the only game in the main series that I've actually beaten the extra stage. I did it one night when I was just playing it, uh, it was during my college years, and I just must have been in the zone, and somehow I beat that, and it's the only extra stage that I've ever completed. Granted, I never really tried much for the other ones, but still, it was kind of like a big accomplishment for me. And when I first did this extra stage here and I got to her, she just wrecked my shit because I didn't understand how you're supposed to handle her. You have to do a lot of manipulating and moving around. You have very little margin for error. You, you clip a little something, you get hit, it puts you out of position. It just ruins every, the whole setup. Um, and you have very little attack time. With that whole thing, you pretty much have that one little instance where I can come out of my float, hit her once, slide underneath, throw a Cyrano shot, hit her twice, maybe three if I do it fast enough, but then I have to start flying to get past that crisscross pattern. Because that pattern is really dangerous, because if you get caught, it's hard to get back up into your safe spot without getting hit over and over again. You just start to take chip damage, and it really just wears you down. So I usually just go for two hits and then fly up so that I'm already in position, but kind of mess it up a little bit there, but you get the idea. Either way, we managed to do it in one, uh, one single life, which in all my practice runs, I actually never was able to do that, so I'm actually very glad that I was able to, to do it here. But that's it. That's the, the end of this game. That's the regular game and the extra stage. So, um, coming up next, I have two different ideas. I'm not sure which one I'm going to go with next, but I do have a few more games uh, kind of ready to go, or at least planned for, for this. So, um, that's going to be it for this one. So, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you guys next time.